Yeah. Luckily enough, I have my, I think I've already mentioned this in the tape, I already have my own personal porta potty, which has been a blessing, as well as my mister. And, uh, I noticed in the uh, porta potties there's a sign for Lady P. Uh, P oh, funnels. yeah. What is Don't, it? Oh, Lady P. Funnels. Yeah. You know, uh, one of my campmates way back when in the geology group had one of those. And they're really quite fantastic because you're on the trail and you just kind of slap that baby on and pee away from yourself. Hmm. Typically, women have to squat and <sighs> splash. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, maybe we could win in there. Pillows and soft show pan was a little too soft because it was being drowned out by the stuff going on in the playa. And then... Uh, the trance music, yeah. Yes. And, then, and, and the Brazilian drummers. Yeah. Dr. Megavolt showed up, and so instead of hearing... We heard... And it was Dr. Megavolt out in front of the tent. There was, there was electrical interference with our power supply, which was generated by a generator. We have like zillions of generators here, but it just like interrupted into <laughs> So there were all the Chopin fans lying around trying to on, on pillows chill and a little bit. <laughs> and uh, Megavolt put an end to that. So we were all, it, they finally paused it uh, and we went outside and just watched what was going on out there, which was uh, pretty incredible. Fireworks! Well, Dr. Megavolt has quite the thing. It's yes. like Tesla coils on top of a car that electrify and shoot off like lightning off these coils, these huge coils about eight or ten feet across. And he and, and the guy playing the part of Dr. Megavolt or playing the part of somebody or another, Dr. Megavolt's the uh, brains behind the operation. I believe he's an engineer in a company out in Goleta. And now he's bringing the show on the road, from what I hear, is what's being talked about on the streets. Anyway, the guy standing between the two Tesla coils had this uh, trident, I guess it was, and he touched one, uh, one Tesla coil and the, ele uh, the uh, electricity would be on and he touched the other and there'd be sparking and the lightning bolts back and forth and he's laughing and jumping up and down. And he was uh, protected by a birdcage on his head. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll be off. What's that big pink thing across the street? Oh, that's a genie in a bottle. It's what? A genie in a bottle uh, art car. Driving around the play, you can see it going down the street. Because it's up high. You see a lot of things like above the eight foot mark. Uh, the tops of the tips. Did you see this like an igloo being blown up around the corner? Clear igloo? Yeah, it's a gumball machine. I oh, think. is that what it is? Yeah. It's gonna be fierce hot in there. So I think I need to eat some salt. I'm I'm kind of feeling yucky. Yeah, hey, so um, what's your name? My name is uh, Brad Carner from Aspen, Colorado. And how would you say this place is different from your the default world that you live in? Well, let's see. Um, I live in a neighborhood that's a little different. This one. Uh, this neighborhood. I came here, and 30 minutes later, uh, they were having bondage across the way. Then the next day they had a, a uh, orgy in the tent over here. And then we got some nice neighbors to kind of uh, balance things out. Uh, okay. uh, so it, it's a little different that way than my, than my normal neighborhood, you know? Yeah. That's funny. Uh, and you are? Bob Haas. So what do you think? Well, uh, how's this, this different? Is, well, I live on a boat half the year in, in Berkeley and this is about the same. <laughs> 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 haven't seen too many differences other than they don't live in tents in Berkeley. But <laughs> well, the other half I'm in uh, Arizona. Yeah, and, and it's this is, has all the heat in the mountains of Arizona, so I guess this is the same as Arizona and Berkeley combined. <laughs> and you? I'm Ando from Denver, and uh, this is uh, this is kind of different from where I come from. I, I have different neighbors here. They do different things. They have better parades here. They have, I think, the best parade I've ever been to, I saw yesterday. I don't think I'll ever be to a better parade than that. Yeah. Yeah. Your neighbors had a pissing contest the other day, too, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, pissing yeah. contest. Uh, my, my man uh, took on the combined total of three neighbors. Yeah. Um, Your man? Yeah, my man, our, our, our pisser, we challenged. Oh, okay. uh, uh -huh. uh, but, first time in his life, uh, uh, he got beat. Uh, 
Um, they had a ringer that was pretty good. Uh, uh, Dave's record is uh, 17 feet 10 inches, uh, which is a, a, a great volume of, uh, wow. of uh, a piss, you know. Well, he had a compressed air bladder. Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, that was no fair. I thought that compressed air bladder just, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, how far did yours, the year man? Yours well, it was, a, it was a wind assist uh, on, on, <laughs> wind on the other assist. team, and, and they, they got about, uh, I think, maybe 20 feet. Um, our man got, was, was, a six, was a 16 feet, 5 inches, you know. Yeah. I saw a woman competing, was that right? A woman competed, uh, first ever, and uh, she got probably three and a half feet. Uh, she was quite a good sport. Was she yeah. drunk or just in a good mood? I think she she was she's a she's a she's a competitor. Uh -huh. She was a little bit of both. I think. She, she what? She might have been a little bit of both. Okay, cool. Uh, well, thanks, guys. Nice to see you. Okay, we'll see You're you. You're welcome to come by our spot. And thanks for arting on me. Let me see. You did Woody, Woodpecker there. Yeah. Be happy. And where's the be happy? Right, right next, next to Woody. Woody. You got Woody. Huh? Hey, guys. And we'll see you guys. Okay. Would you say a poem before I leave? Well, I'll say it. It's a little long. It might be a little long for your tape. Okay. Okay, this is called Talking World War III Blues. And it's, uh, I didn't write the song. But some time ago, a crazy dream came to me. I dreamed I was walking in World War III. I went to the doctor that's down in the sewer with some little lover. When I peeked up from the manhole cover, wondering who turned the lights on us. I got up and I walked around, up and down the lonesome town, jumped into the driver's seat, drove down 42nd Street. A good car to drive after a war. Well, I spied me a woman before she could leave. I said, hey, let's go play Adam and Eve. I took her by the hand and my heart was thumping. She said, hey man, you crazy or something? You saw what happened last time they started. Can't be part right, part of the time, but all the people can't be all right all of the time. I think Abraham Lincoln said that. <laughs> I'll let you be in my dream if I can be in yours. And I said that. Whoa, <laughs> so uh, what do you think of uh, how, how is this place different from the default world for you? From the real world? Yeah. Um, well, the, the lack of clothes or the choice thereof of going clothes free. Um, I don't know. I think the first thing I noticed that about it was uh, everybody just seems to get nicer instantly mm. and a little more mellow and laid back and uh, more friendly huh? yeah uh -huh. yeah and I'm just amazed that this many people really care about the whole no trash thing I mean considering how many people there are here well, what is the no trash thing well you know the leave no trace you know take everything with you um, you know, don't just, there's really no trash cans provided, so you have to do your own, you know. Not one trash can in forty town of 40,000 is right, amazing. Right, right, exactly. So, I don't know, I think those are the things that impress me the most, okay. definitely. And where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm a student and a currency trader wannabe. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's and your what name I'm again is? Julie. Julie. Okay, well, nice to see you, Julie. Thank our, you. our next door neighbor. There's yeah. this is this is my tent here. There's my wife Melissa and my son Andrew cool. eating Cheetos. <laughs> you having breakfast? <gasps> Snack. Snack. We got some duct tape over the ones. Is that a Larry Nimmer trick right there? Yeah, it's a Larry Nimmer trick. Uh, Andrew, what do you think of this little leash rigmarole so far? <laughs> what do I think of it? Yeah. Um, I like it. How, how would you say Pretty it's amazing. different from... Uh, my, my question I've been going around asking is, how is this place different from the default world for you? Um, well, I like the kind of gift attitude. Mm -hmm. Where people just give you some drinks or give you pancakes or um, they are just here to do, do something for you, make build something that is pretty and for people. So that's really nice. You don't like having your dad stick a camera lens in your face, or you know? Well, I don't really mind, but are you asking me these huge generalized questions? Well, what's that, your philosophy of life? 
<laughs> 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 or do you like flaming hot Cheeto? 